We're inside the infamous Think Fast locker room where every old biddy has a double to dance with and every gator a reptilian twin. If you can match these crazy couples together, you can be a grand prize winner on... That's what it's all about. Today on the gold team, it's Sherry and Brian. And on the blue team, Cassidy and Jason. And they're here to play Think Fast, the game where quickness counts and money mounts. And now, here's the host of Think Fast. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Think Fast. Audience, how are we doing today? Yeah! Our studio audience sounds great, and I hope you guys at home are having fun and are ready to have a good time. Let's talk to our players a little bit. On the goal team, we have Brian and Sherry. Let's hear it for them. Give it up! Brian likes playing video games and is big into basketball. Brian, who's your favorite basketball player? Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. How come Michael Jordan? Because he can slam. Because he can slam. You like that. All right. Well, maybe you'll grow up tall enough to be able to do that. I wish I could slam. All right, Sherry. Uh, Sherry's a cheerleader and likes to roller skate. And you can do something interesting with your thumbs. What is that you can do? Let's see it. You, she can put her thumbs. How do you do that? Does that oh, hurt? No, it's, no, it's no, it just does like that? Yeah. Well, that is a very usual skill. Welcome to Think Fast. On the blue team, we have Jason and Cassidy. Give it up! Jason collects baseball cards and plays football and baseball. What's your favorite sport out of those two? Football. Football. How come football? Because it's more exciting, I guess, to make more contact. Oh, more contact. Okay. All right. Cassidy loves horseback riding, gymnastics, and cheerleading, and she has an interesting pet. What is that, Cassidy? A burro. A burro. <laughs> like, similar to a donkey? Mm -hmm. And what is interesting about this pet? Well, nothing really. He just likes following this one horse around all the time. Oh, follows <laughs> one particular horse around. Does mm -hmm. he think he's a horse? I guess so. All right. Okay, Definitely. great. Good luck for the blue team. Let's hear it for our players, folks! <laughs> okay, here's how we play Think Fast. Our two teams will be competing in a variety of events that are designed to test both their mental ability and their physical agility. If they win an event, they earn cash. And most importantly, they get a shot at the Think Fast Brain Bender worth 200 bucks. The team with the most money at the end of the game gets to go on that mad dash for cash and prizes in the locker room. All right. So let's not take up any more time. Let's play our first event, which today is called Smelly Garbage Can. What we have here are five different sized garbage cans and five different sized garbage bags. Uh, and, and each bag fits only one of the five cans. And right here, we have some seriously smelly garbage right here, a big pile of some seriously smelly garbage. What our teams have to do is it's the first team to put the right bag inside the right trash can and get all of their garbage off the floor and into the cans. All right, you guys ready? Understand? Ready? Then think fast, go to it. Get those bags in those cans. Yeah, do it, do it, do it, do it. There's speedsters, there's speedsters here. The gold team is doing a really good job there. There, let's, they're doing great. Let's see how the blue team is doing. The blue team's over there doing the same thing. They're trying to get the correct bags into the correct can. Uh, the, the blue team, uh, they're both simultaneously starting to put that trash can in there. The trash is going in the can. Yes, very good. The gold team is doing a good job. How's the blue doing? They're still trying to get that one garbage can left. There we go. Now we got all four players going after the garbage. All four players are going after the garbage there. It's a close one. Looks like blue might be ahead just by a tad. Oh, this is a close one. This is a close one. Let's see how the blue's doing. They're almost done. The blue is almost done. They're almost done. Gold's trying to catch up right at the last second. Blue wins! Blue wins! Yes! Yes! All right, Gold, you guys did a great job, but you still left a little bit here. Oh, it was very close, but Blue, come on down here. You guys won! Come on over here! You guys won the 50 bucks for that event, plus you get a shot at answering the Think Fast Brain Bender, which today is Objects in Common. We're going to show you, we have six clues. We're going to show you one clue at a time, and all of these things have something in common. Let's see the first clue. The Ten mm. Commandments? Mm, the Ten Commandments is not correct, but you still won the 50 bucks. Blue's got 50, gold's not on the board yet, but hey, we're going to our next event. Let's do it! <laughs> Our next 
event is called Shh. And what we do is, I'm going to give you a word, and you have to tell me the silent letter. For example, if I said the word home, the uh, correct answer would be E, because we don't pronounce the E at the end of home. All right, buzz in as soon as you know the answer. Ready? Here's your first word. Lamb. Blue. A. Uh, what was that? No. You, what was the word like? You said H? No, no H. A. A. A is not correct. What we were looking for was B. B at the end of lamb is silent. Here's your next, here's your next word. Glisten. Gold. Uh, Three seconds. I. I. I is not correct. Blue. You have a guess? N. N. N is not correct either. Glisten. The, the correct, uh, w uh, the letter that we were looking for was T. Here's your next, here's your next question. I mean, here's your next word. Ghost. H. Uh, blue H. says H. H is correct. Blue gets a point. Here's your next word. Here's your next word. Higher. Gold. E? No, gold had that. Uh, G. G. No, we were looking. Blue. E? e is correct. E gets the point. Be careful. Be careful not to jump the gun, all right? You jumped the gun there. He could have said E and he would have gotten the point. All right, here we go. The next word is answer. Blue. W. W is correct. You get the point. Uh, was that the buzzer, judges? No, that was not the buzzer. We still have more left. The next word is meal. Blue. E. E is not correct. A. A. A is what we were looking for. Very good. Actually, I said that out loud. I said that out loud. We have to throw that one out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The next one. Autumn. Gold. U. U is not correct. M. U. M. M is not correct. We were looking for N. We were looking for N. Okay, there is the end of the round, which means it's three to one. Blue wins. Come on down here, Blue. Way to go, Jason. Very good. Okay, you win the 50 bucks, and you get a shot at the Think Fast Brain Mender, which today is a Objects in Common. Let's take a look and reveal another clue. Cans? Are they all cans? No, that's not what they are. They're not all cans. Okay, we're going to our next event, because you won the 50. That means blue has 100. Gold's not on the board yet. Let's go to our next event right here. Let's do it. See what we've got here. Mmm. Mm, smells like some scrump delicious vegetable uh, uh, alphabet soup. Uh, our Think Fast chef has gotten a little carried away. As you can see over here on our meal boards, our chef uh, got a little carried away and took some of the letters off our, our menu and stuck it into the soup. One player from each team has to dip inside the soup, pull out letters, and hand them off to their player, who will then have to run over here and fill in the blanks with the alphabets coming out of the alphabet soup. First team to do it correctly wins. Are you guys ready? Think fast, go to it, dig in there. Dig in there, they're at the bottom. Let's dig all the way to the bottom, all the way to the bottom. Wait, there, Blue thinks they have a letter. Okay, great. Let's dig all the way to the bottom, the very bottom. If you can't get them with the ladles, dig in there with your hands. You can use your hands to find those letters. There we go, we got some letters coming out of there now. That's, that's getting some letters coming out. That's, how we doing? How we doing? Grab some letters. They're dipping in there and getting letters now. They're both looking now. Get some letters out of there, guys. You gotta fill that thing in. They're looking for some specific letters. Where are they? All right, they're both dipping in there, looking for those letters. This is getting messy now. Gold's got all kinds of letters right down beneath her. She's got letters everywhere. She's trying to figure out where, what the correct letter is. Well, it's getting very close. There's only Gold's only got a couple letters missing. How's Blue doing? Blue's missing. Uh, Blue's missing two too. Uh, so it's very close. We're looking for one thing. We're looking for Gold. Gold has got a lot, bunch of letters. She's trying to figure out what that last word is. No, that, that's not correct. Come on, get some letters out of there. Fill that in. Fill that in. Come on, let's hear it for him. Audience is getting close. No, that's not correct. We're looking for Both the teams are trying to figure out what's going on. Whoa, be careful there. No, it's still not correct. It's still not correct. 
Still not correct. That's not correct either. It's still not correct. Keep it going. You're looking for some words. They're a little lost up here. Blue wins. The judges say the blue team wins. The judges say that the blue had more letters correct first. Okay, great. Way to go, guys. Gold, you, you played really tough. You played really tough. Blue, come here. Come here. Way to go. You guys won the 50 bucks, and you get a shot at the Think Fast Brain Bender. Objects in common. Let's take a look. Uh, what is it? Tabs. They're all tabs. No, that's not correct. But you guys won the 50 bucks, and the score is blue 150. Gold's not on the board yet, but we got a couple more events coming up. Dollar values are now doubled. We got the brain bender. Stay with us. Way to go. Welcome back to Think Fast. I want to remind everybody what the score is. It's blue 150. Gold's not on the board yet, but we have two more uh, events. And we also have the Brain Bender. There's lots of cash left out there to get. And all dollar values are doubled in round two, meaning each event is now worth 100 bucks a piece. All right, let's go to our first event in round two, which is called Backwards and Forwards. What I'm going to do is, uh, up on our board, we have here a bunch of scrambled words that are palindromes. A palindrome is a word that can be spelled backwards or forwards. All right? Uh, I'm going to ask our players a bunch of questions, and when they think they know the answer, they have to buzz in and unscramble the proper palindrome. Most points wins. You guys ready? Okay. Here's your first question. This Egyptian king was entombed thousands of years ago, and his treasures were untombed in modern times. Gold. That's exactly right. We were looking for Tut. King Tut. Gold gets one point. Here's your next question. A word we might say when we're so excited we don't know if we're coming. Gold. Wow is right. We don't know whether we're coming or going. Okay. Gold gets that point. A good pupil can see. Blue, go ahead. I is correct. A good pupil can see which way this one goes. Very good. It's close. Gold's got two. Blue's got one. This pertains to public interest. Gold. Civic is correct. This pertains to public interest. Very good. Three to one. Here's the next one. Better get these stories straight because they... Go ahead, Blue. Sagas, because they are great big epic stories. Correct. Time has run out. The score is gold three, blue two. Gold wins. Come on down here. Very good. Way to go. Way to go, Sherry. You won the hundred bucks for your team. You're tightening up the score, and you get a shot at the brain mender. Let's take a look. Objects in common. All these things have something in common. Do you have any idea what that is? Uh -uh. No, no idea. Okay, well, uh, you still won the 100 bucks for your team, which makes the score gold 100. Blue's got 150. It's a close game, and we're going to our next event. <laughs> this next event is called Bits and Pieces, and what we have here are a bunch of sticks. Some are straight, some are curved. I'll give you guys a clue, and you have to spell out the answer to the clue right here on the floor using those bits and pieces. Okay, you all ready? All right, ready? Here's your clue. What Jack and Jill spilled when they fell down the hill. In other words, what they were using their pails to fetch. Think fast, go to it. Both teams think they know. They're, they're, they're starting to spell quickly. Do it as fast as you can, as fast as you can. they got a little bit of a lead. Looks like they may be spelling that up backwards. We're spelling it backwards. Man. Spell it out there. Spell it out there so we can read it. Blue wins! Blue wins! Yes! OK, 
Okay, gold, gold, you, you understood what it was, but you started spelling it backwards. You started spelling it to where we couldn't read it. Blue, come on down here, you guys did it. Way to go, come on. All right, very good. Way to go, guys. Water, you knew that right away. Very good. All right, you guys won 100 bucks for your team, and you get a shot at, at taking, taking a look at the brain bender. I want to remind you, it's objects in common. We need to see it. Let's reveal a clue. Things that come in. They all have hats? No, things that are plural. No, that's not it. But hey, since that was our last event, no one's gotten a brain bender. We're going to go to a sudden death brain bender round right over here. Come on over. Come on over. Go over there. Right there. We're in sudden death on our brain bender. No one's gotten the answer yet, so we have to go to it. It's a very tight game. There's still, uh, if, if Gold gets this uh, next 200 points as brain bender, they could be winning. So whoever wins this brain bender gets to go to the locker room. Uh, let's show the brain bender, and we'll show that last clue. As soon as you think you know, buzz in. Okay, there's no guess. All right, I'm going to read you a clue while you're looking at the brain bender again. Let's show the brain bender, and I will read you a clue. These are names you can count on. As soon as you know, buzz in. All right, here's the next uh, clue that I'm going to read. If you don't know what these names have in common, your days are numbered. Blue. They all have numbers? They all have numbers! <laughs> okay, very good. Let's take a look at the brain bender. Let's take a look at the brain bender. Uh, you know what, what, that, what is that first thing? Do you know these out? The first one is the Ten Commandments. The one to the right is a six-pack. The next one is a three-legged race. Then we have four-leaf clover, then eight ball, and then one-way sign. Very good, Blue. You guys won the 200 bucks. The score is Blue 450. Gold's got 100. Blue is going to the locker room. Yes! Hey, you guys, on the gold team, you guys played a real good game. Come on over here. Come on over here. You played a real good game, Brian. And you get to keep the money you won, plus you get these great prizes that Henry James is going to tell us about right now. Sherry and Brian, put your golf skills to the test with Bandai's super realistic Pebble Beach Challenge. Tee off on your Nintendo for 18 holes of great golf action from Bandai and from Converse. Converse, home of the Converse Kids Collection, including all-stars and leather athletic shoes. From shooting hoops to hanging out, the Converse Kids Collection is all you're going to need. Right, Skip? You betcha, Henry J. Way to go. All right, these guys have earned the right to go to the locker room for that mad dash for cash and prizes. We're going to do that right after these messages, so stay with us. Come on, guys, let's go. Welcome back to Think Fast. We're here with Cassidy and Jason, and they have earned the right to go up against the locker room. Okay, this is really exciting, guys. You ready to play? Okay, yeah. good. Here's how we do it. Behind me, we have 15 lockers, and inside those lockers, we have seven matching pairs. What we're going to do is give you one minute on the time clock, and what you have to do is take turns matching up as many pairs as possible in the allotted time. A locker door will open up, and whoever or whatever jumps out, you have to find the mate. The first four matches are worth a hundred bucks a piece, and the next three are worth these great prizes that Henry J is going to tell us about right now. Henry J, what can we win? Cassidy and Jason from Sportcraft, one of the finest volleyball sets made with new telescoping poles, everything you need for America's favorite backyard game, and it's only from Sportcraft. Then you can move indoors for some educational fun. From the publishers of Encyclopedia Britannica comes Children's Britannica. Easy to use and understand with exciting color pictures. Children's Britannica provides you with the very best right from the very start. And if you make all seven matches, Cassidy and Jason, you'll receive the Head Start Explorer, a family computer with all the important software already built right in. From Head Start, the leader in home computers. Good luck in the locker room. Wow, that sounds like some great stuff, but I want to remind you to watch out because inside one of those lockers is the dreaded Red Herring. The Red Herring is a character that has no match at all. So if you think you found him, run over here, yank on the herring handle, which will close the lockers and allow your partner to continue matching. All right? Let's see who the Burgundy Bass is today. 
All right, that's our folks at home getting a chance to look at it, but we can't see it out here. All right, are you ready? You ready, Cassidy? Okay, let's open up a locker and see who she has to match. I can build things here, I can build things there, but if you don't find my match, I can't build anywhere. Okay, that's, that's the wild carpenter you're looking for. Let's put one minute on the time clock. You ready, Cassidy? Think fast. Go hit those buttons. Hit those buttons. Let's do it. Do it. Very good. Very good. That's great. You got it. Lock it up. Lock it up. Okay, go. No, Cassidy. Come here. Go. 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 Here. Back. 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 You're looking for the game. You're looking for the alligator. You're looking for the alligator. You got it. Lock it up. Lock it up. Go. Open up the locker. You're looking for the shoes. You got it. Lock it up. Lock it up. Lock it up. Lock it up. Go find the locker. What are you looking for? You're looking for the army man. The army man. Congratulations, Jason and Cassidy. Each of you win $400 in cash, plus the GSC Deluxe Volleyball Set, the Children's Encyclopedia Britannica, and the Head Start Explorer Computer and Monitor, a prize package worth $108,049 each. Whoa, way to go. This is Skip Lackey coming to you from Orlando with Nickelodeon Studios. And we're here. Think fast. See you soon. Bye-bye. Congratulations, guys.